Greetings, Tarians, Chaos here. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how you can make prettier looking fishing ponds. But first, I wanted to quickly apologize for not posting a video in a couple of weeks. I've had a lot going on in my life and it's been pretty rough. I am doing all right, it's just been slow going. I'll be talking a little bit more about that over the next few weeks. But for now, I wanted to thank you all very much for sticking around and watching my videos in the meantime. You've really helped the, keep the channel alive and well during the unexpected two week long hiatus. Thank you all so much for your continued support and views. I cannot express how much it really means to me. You all are amazing. So let's get today's, so let's get to today's tutorial. Personally, I prefer to have multiple fishing ponds with different themes rather than to have just three all-in-one biome fishing ponds where you only have one in the sky, one on the surface, and one underground. The reason why that is is because all biome fishing ponds don't exactly look all that great. There are a bunch of random biome blocks scattered all over the screen to make it work. And that's not what I'm going to be showing you how to do today because I want to show you how to make some decent looking fishing ponds. So the first thing that we're going to do is clear out a large area that's going to be 22 blocks wide by 32 blocks down. So I'm just going to clear out 22 blocks wide right over here. And then we're going to go down 32. Okay, so now that we have the hole that we're going to be building the fishing pond within, we're going to be needing to place some blocks around the outer edges, and it's gonna to have to be five blocks thick. Now the reason that we need this is to contain the corruption and crimson and hollow biomes whenever we're going to be placing those blocks within the pond so that they don't spread into areas that you don't want them. So if we just lay out five blocks in all directions around the edge of the pond for the frame, we can contain those biomes. Now, something that you might want to take into consideration is block type. You obviously don't want to place any sort of block that's going to be uh, convertible. So you don't want to be placing any grass or stone or sand or any of the sand variants or mud because those can spread biomes. So you're going to be wanting to use other kinds of blocks. Personally, for something like this where it's set into dirt, I'm going to use a few layers of brown painted clay block to blend in with the dirt. So it looks like dirt, but grass can't grow onto it. And it's not going to spread any of the biomes that we don't want. So I'm just going to do that over here. And then I'm going to do the same thing onto the other edge and then on the bottom as well. And then I'm going to grab some stone slab and I'm just going to line the edges over here. The reason why I'm going to be using materials like stone slab and clay and I'll even be using some dynasty wood in here is because I don't want these to blend in with any of the materials around them. So, for instance, if I had taken something like Ebonstone Brick and I had used that in lieu of uh, the edges here which are going to be uh, made out of Dynasty Wood, the Ebonstone Brick could blend in with any of the biome blocks that will be going inside, which is not what I want at all because it's going to look really blocky and it's just going to kind of ruin the texture. So I'm going to be leaving it with blocks that don't blend with other blocks as easily. Now at the very top, if you don't like these little knuckles here where it's got kind of a different texture at the 90 degree angle, you could just place another bit of dynasty wood on either end. And if you don't like all of these air gaps that we have in between the blocks, 
then you just need to grab some wall of your choice. In this case, I'm just going to be using the wall that I'm going to be using within the pond itself. And I'm just going to fill in those gaps. And then using the same wall, I'm going to fill in the entire pond itself as well. And then along the top over here, I'm going to just place some brown painted rich mahogany just to give a little bit more texture right at the top. And then I'm going to grab some living wood platform and just run it across here so that we could walk across the fishing pond and still fish into it as you could drop fishing lines through platforms. Now, the most efficient size for the fishing pond needs to be 300 tiles in size. That's how you're going to get the most out of your fishing. And you'll see here that we have a pond that's 12 wide. I'm actually standing on a space there so I can't rule it there. So if I go here, the pond is gonna be 12 wide. And then you'll see if we go high, it's 25, which will be 300 in size. There's actually one gap right here at the very top so it's actually 26 tall but this gap here we're going to be needing that because i have a little bit of overhang with these blocks and if the water were to come right up against these tiles it would actually invalidate the pond underneath those tiles so that's why i leave this gap here so the next thing that we could do is just dump in the water and we need it to come all of the way up to the second to last spot and really, that's all we need to do to have a functioning pond. It is now 300 tiles, and now we could fish within it and get whatever we want out of it. Now, this is a purity biome fishing pond, but I do want to make this look better. And for any of these surface ponds, I like to add a canopy to it. So what I'm going to do is just build kind of a nature looking canopy over it to signify that it's the purity biome. Now I'm going to be starting off with some brown painted shade wood fence and rich mahogany fence along the edges just to prop up the entire pond canopy so we can still walk in front of the canopy. And then above that I'm going to be using some living wood wand, some living leaf wand, some living leaf wall, and I'm just going to speed that up for us right now. So now we have a nice forest or purity themed canopy to go with our forest or purity themed fishing pond. But what about the other fishing holes? So over here off to the left, in the spirit of October, I have a creepy looking crimson themed canopy with a bunch of bone and flesh and what's supposed to be blood dripping off of it. However, you could tell that it's blue and the water beneath it is blue as well because currently it's in the purity biome. So what we're going to do is just drain out this water for now and then I'm going to hop into the pond and show you how we're going to actually create the biome within here without spreading it to other blocks. So what we're going to do is grab some crimstone and some actuators and we're just going to place them within this pond. That way we can get the water to actually change to the right color and we can get the fish of the biome as well. And we can also keep this pesky crimson contained. 
Now the reason we use actuators is so that we could actually put water in front of it and still fish within them. If we were to just fill this up with solid blocks, then obviously we would be unable to have enough water in the pond to get the most out of the pond. So with actuators in the way instead, we could actually take care of that problem really easily. So now we have a nice layer of crimstone within here and you'll see any of the water that I pour into here as well as the water dripping off of the top itself is now within the crimson biome. You can also see it a little bit in the background but not too much. The various different biomes require different amounts of blocks to create the biomes for fishing however so let's go over those real quick. So I've replicated the fishing pond up into the sky and I added a little pool of water here off to the side and I'm going to be filling the inside of the pond with some actuated blocks to get the biomes that we need. Obviously the purity biome doesn't need any blocks. The jungle biome which you could see indicated by the water in the box here requires 80 blocks. The glowing mushroom biome only requires 80 tiles for fishing. Another note on this biome is that you might want to hammer the blocks within the pond because even when actuated, they can spawn uh, and create glowing mushrooms on top of them which will instantly break and fall to the bottom. So unless you want to accidentally make or purposefully make a glowing mushroom uh, farm, then you might want to hammer those down. Another note is that the watercolor is the same with purity, so you might not be able to recognize the difference just by looking at the watercolor. The halo also requires 100 blocks. While both the crimson and the corruption require 200 blocks. And finally the snow biome which requires the entire space of 300 tiles. You can also fish within honey and lava, and those will be done with the same way. It doesn't matter what blocks you have inside of the pond, you don't need any at all if you don't want them. You just need to make sure that you have 300 tiles worth of liquid, be it water, lava, or honey. While we don't actually need 300 tiles within this pond to get the proper biome going, I do recommend that you do it because as you can see here, I have less than 300 uh, as the 300 mark is where the water line is. And you can see a clear difference between the background wall and the block itself. And if you were to raise the block all of the way up to the top of the water line, then it's going to look a lot better in my opinion. You could even paint them to blend them in even more should you choose to. Now the reason why we want background walls behind these actuated blocks is so that we don't get enemies spawning within the ponds. A recommendation that I have for this is that we have 40 tiles in between fishing ponds. Because you can see here, if I walk over to the purity biome and I stand right over the pond, it's going to be pure. And if I walk over to the crimson, it transitions part way in between, but once I'm over the pond, it is still crimson. However, this area in between is kind of a mixture, so if these ponds were closer, we wouldn't actually be able to use the purity pond, we would be fishing out of crimson in both. With a space of 40, which is my recommendation, it's actually slightly less than that, we could have the ponds, uh, the biomes for the ponds, nice and separated in it. As you can see here, if I just grab the ruler, there are 40 tiles in between these. Now, 40 tiles can be annoying to walk back and forth if you have a bunch of these. Now, what I recommend for that is actually just grabbing a bunch of minecart tracks and running them from one pond into the next because these are something that you could also fish through and it makes travel much much quicker. So you can see that if I'm over here in the corruption pond that I built for this example, I could still fish through both the platform and the minecart track and I can quickly get from point A to point B in just a matter of seconds which really makes the distance between these pretty trivial. And also with this one, as you can tell, I've raised the ebon stone all of the way up to the top of the water line so that it's blended in with the blocks in the background a little bit better and we don't have the hard line that we're seeing over here. 
And that's going to do it for today's Built It video. I'm not going to show you any more themes for your ponds because I want you to just let your imagination go wild. There are so many things that you can do. I just wanted to show you guys a template that you can use that will make it very easy for you to make custom themed biome fishing ponds that contains the biome so they don't spread and it looks a lot better than just having random blocks floating all over the screen. I hope you guys found this build tip video useful. If you did, be sure to leave a like and a comment. It really helps the channel out. And again, I apologize for my two week absence and I'll be talking about that a little bit more in the next video. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll catch you all later. Happy building.